Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Indivisible. Last time I said that we were probably going to go back over here and possibly go down this side path we never went down, but I don't really know how to get back over there, and if I can, it's a bit convoluted because it looks like this I had to run through walls, and that doesn't seem like a jump I can make from there to there. So, I'm guessing I'll probably have to go back there if I ever get the ability to teleport. So, yeah. We're just going to continue on. Hopefully it's not a ring cell. Well, I guess the only two things it could be is a ring cell or an optional character, and both of those are a pretty big deal. But, let's just hope that we get... Um... Hello. Let's just hope that we get... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Fast travel. Soon. That is totally a place I can go. I can see it. Yeah, no, there's a whole zone up there. Oh well. We'll just have to ignore it for now. Huh. This area is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. We're uh, hanging out in desert land for quite a bit. Hello. <laughs> Uh, wait, was this, was this where I was supposed to go? This led nowhere? Nothing. Alright. Well, that's good to know, I guess. I thought one of those paths was going to be a secret, but it just seemed like two alternate ways to do the same puzzle. Whoop. Game, uh, skipped a bit there. I uh, don't think there's anything up here. No. Rhodey is going insane. Calm down, buddy. Everything's going to be all right. How does he burrow? Is he, he just like burrowed through stone. He doesn't seem like he has very uh, sharp claws or anything of that variety. Oh, we hit an oasis. Is it a mirage? How about we go take a dip? I'm sure everybody would appreciate that. My cat is crying. That usually doesn't pick up in the recording, though. He just kind of wails because I'm not paying attention to him, but oh well. He gets to see me the rest of the day, so he can he can take a little bit of time off. Um, this is probably the correct save. Jeez, they are going crazy. Here it is, Port Marifa, the gateway to the world. Wow, there are a uh, lot of characters here, and I'm willing to bet a pretty decent amount of these are probably uh, Kickstarter backer characters. So that's interesting. But this also is like the first big town we've been to in this game, isn't it? Huh? For a gateway, I thought it would be bigger. We can get ships here, that's the main thing. Right, about that. What does everyone want to do? I dragged you into all this, and none of you owe me a thing. <sighs> it's okay, Zebe. I appreciate everyone's help, but we're through the sandstorm now. None of you have to stay. But I need to figure out what this Kala thing means. Find out about my own power. I, I don't even know all the stuff I need to figure out. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so far, we can't really do that much with our power. We've only learned to dash through boulders. I'm sure we can do so much more. Ajna, you are the grossest, most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Everything around you turns into a disaster. And that's why you're staying. I... I guess you're right. So, obviously, I'm coming with you. Bomb is too. He has to come because he's mostly dead. Aren't you, you little idiot? <laughs> He's mostly dead? I thought he was all the way dead. Well, no. I guess his soul is in the lantern. She's just, like, wearing his corpse. I wonder how she keeps the corpse alive. Like, how is it not decomposing right now? Oh, thanks, Razmi. Right? Am I thanking you after that? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. You saved me in the desert. You said you'd help me find out what happened to my brother. I'm coming. <laughs> Hey, Razmi, don't. She's cool. 
But you leave me alone, Rosmi. Oh, they don't like each other. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that, I forgot. That's that's why they don't like each other. But yeah, Razmi, yeah, calls her no lips. Even though I think through the, like, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the imprint of her mask, you can clearly see that she has lips based off the shadows. You can make out her nose and her lips. Ginseng? Well, this is a lot more dangerous than I expected, but you can't become a world-famous botanist without some risk. So, I'm coming. As am I. You still haven't fully recovered, and you need a guide as your power grows. And someone to buy you cute dresses and do your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, absolutely nothing. Just for fun. Didn't your mother ever fix your hair? Okay, that's kind of a sore spot, probably. I didn't really know my mother. Yeah. <gasps> no. Well, an Almushin braid would look lovely, for starters. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. I really appreciate your help. Oh, but Zebe? Yeah, what about Dar, too? Right. I want no further part in destroying the world, thanks. I've done enough to help the charade. I'm with you only until we find a boat. Yeah, that's, I, I guess, reasonable. We don't really, well, I mean, I'm using you, but I don't need you. Well, where a protector goes, so too must I. I understand. I'll make sure everyone who wants to stay finds a boat. How's that? Fine by me. Wait, may I speak? Wait, so I, I is Kushi going with... I guess Kushi's going with Zabay. I honestly assumed Kushi would stay. But I guess that makes sense that she would want to go with him. And here's Dar. Better make it good. This is the big who stays and who goes conversation. Will you be voted off the island, Dar? And I'd prefer that you go. I know. I know most of you don't like me. And you have good reason. I did kill Ajna's father. I don't think I've pointed it out until now, but wasn't Ajna's father like a giant badass? How did Dar kill him in the first place? Maybe he snuck up behind him and stabbed him. I thought I was doing it for the good of the world, but Ravanovar had blinded me. He raised me since I was a boy, and he spoke so lovingly of the new world he would create. I had no idea he meant to destroy it first, and I had no idea the deeds... acts we committed were done in the name of destruction. Yeah, I mean, that's why he collected you from children, so he could shield you from the outside world and make you believe what you were doing was right, when in reality it was incredibly wrong. How did you not know killing innocent people was wrong? I was told they were blasphemers against the gods. But in truth, I have no excuse but youth. And yet you are younger than I and committed no such atrocities. Ravanovar told me the heretics we dispatched would be reincarnated in paradise and live a better life. But I had never stayed behind after a battle. I'd never had to see the consequences until now. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna, let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. But let me be your sword. I have no purpose. I have nowhere to belong. Please, I don't want to become some mercenary for hire. I know I'm asking even more of you, but I want to try to do something good. Let me help you save this world from destruction. Well... Don't do it. He's the worst. <laughs> Razmi always just decides to butt in at the best times. Yeah, I mean, I get it, and we're probably going to bring him along anyway. And it would make sense to bring him along, I mean, unless he's lying, of course, which he could just be lying out of his ass right now. He's probably right, he probably didn't realize what he was doing, what was uh, was bad, since he was raised basically in captivity for his entire life. Yeah, he is, but maybe he deserves a chance. For what it's worth, he is being sincere. Oh yeah, why wouldn't we just get to Ronnie to be like, hey, is, is, Dar, is Dar being legit? Is is his story true? I guess it is, because she would probably call him out if he, if uh, he was lying right now. Her power is incredibly overpowered. I'm, 
I'm gonna consider it. But listen, Dar. From now on, you're listening to me. And if we find someone who needs help, we're helping them. No discussion. I am yours to command. I will not complain. And... Thank you. This conversation got weird. Eh, it was, it was a kind of nice conversation, though. I'm glad we cleared things up with Dar. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get going. And thanks again, everybody. All right. So that was a lengthy conversation. It's a pupper. I cannot pet the pupper. Maybe there is a pupper in this game that you can pet. So that uh, Twitter account won't be like, you cannot pet the dog in Indivisible. Can we get this character, please? This badass punch lady? Outsiders, eh? If you came looking for work, you won't find it here. Unless you call kissing the Iron Kingdom's butt work. Gross, who would call that work? It's just an expression, it's not a literal... Do you kiss the Iron Kingdom's butt for work? No. H how did we get on this topic? You brought it up. Oh, um, I guess I did. Never mind then. That'll teach her to give us helpful advice. Yeah. Jeez, Razmi, you're the best. Watch yourselves, outsiders. Huh? We're not doing anything. Uh, sir, can I ask what the hell is up with your helmet? It looks like someone has a screw going through your face. And also, the design is really weird. It just doesn't seem super practical for a helmet. But, whatever. Yet. Razmi, shush. Make sure you tread lightly. This area is under the Iron Kingdom's control, and we won't hesitate to jail any dissidents. That sounds like another popular voice actor, but I can't quite place it. Maybe... Maybe Yuri Lowenthal? I don't know. Like you took my breath... <laughs> yeah, Kadira, maybe not the best time. Shh, Kadira. Who? Us? Deceive what? <laughs> nah, we're just casual. I've got my eye on you. Yeah, no, we're filthy casuals. It's fine. That was close. Keep it cool, will you? I'm sorry. I just hate them so much. Alright, come on. Let's go chill at the cup bar while we talk to these... Probably Kickstarter backer characters. That's what they look like to me. Especially the guy in the middle. He looks like someone's OC for sure. You can learn so much about a nation's culture through its food. Alright, at least there'll be quick conversations. Uh, I also feel the need to point out that pirate lady in the background. Because I'm pretty sure uh, I've seen her on like the menu of the game or in the splash art for the title on uh, Steam. So, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I'm getting her on my team at some point, hopefully. Unless she's an antagonist. I venture to port Marifa often because there are a plethora of unique goods made by the locals. Meanwhile, my little heiress here likes it because of the culinary delicacies. Because of all the fresh fish here, her favorite is the curried fish stew. I see. You named your, um... You named your cat dog thing after a ancient? I wouldn't be here if my friends didn't believe in me. I'll always believe in them too. That's what the bonds of friendship are all about. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, shoo, I need practice. Okay, so we got some dancers. Yeah, they don't seem to say too much of interest. I do still kind of want to see what they say though. The one I ignore would be the important one. There's so many dogs. There's a sheep. That looks like a, I don't know. There's like a little poodle. Ultima. Oi, name's- wow, you have a badass name, sir. Are you aware that you're the strongest spell in Final Fantasy games? Oi, name's Ultima. I'm on a long journey to meet many new faces. A traveling pal told me all about a mysterious sand painter named Sangmu. I've heard she's skilled, kind, and cute. I will find this Sangmu. There's so much going on in the background here. I kind of love uh, the amount of detail here. Like, there's so many things you can pick up on in the background. Like, this guy struggling to hold all of those bags. Um, this old man sitting here staring at what appears to be shogi pieces. Um, some guy way in the background, like, pointing a finger at somebody. Like, hobo-looking person. And, of course, the cup bar guy. There's a lot of detail in it. It ma really makes the, uh, town feel alive. Hello. You don't really look like you're from this time period. 
It is a royal privilege to do good and be ill-spoken of. I see. Please come in and take a look. Make your time in Marifa a memorable one with a fine souvenir. Uh... I can't. I can see the dude, uh, pumping iron, though. You also look like a badass. I sense you. You are cursed, like me. Hmm, wait, no. You are possessed by much kinder spirits than I. Consider yourself fortunate, young warrior. Fate could have been far, far more cruel. Wow, so he's possessed by something even spookier than me. This girl looks cool. I like her. Wait, do we actually have to platform in? Yeah, we do. Wow, look at that magical girl. Hello. Is this your girlfriend? Apostolos? Huh. Something bothering you? Yeah, the Iron Kingdom, that's what. I kicked him out of the port myself, but I just got this new outfit. And that means... you can't fight? Don't want to get blood on my new exercise gear, know what I mean? Wanna get dirty if you exercise in it too? Huh. Exercise gear is for looking cool and not for exercising. Huh. That doesn't really... Yeah, so anyway, that's why the Iron Kingdom's still around. Gotta be true to my style, you know. I only own one outfit myself. Yeah, I've noticed. Guess you'll never be tough like me, then. Haha, <laughs> you don't know stuff. Yeah, interesting character, I guess. Alright, magical girl, what do we got from you? You look like you belong in Sailor Moon. Jan Mara's Den, Star Attract- Wait, Jan Mara's Den's Star Attraction is my idol. If you're ever in Tai Krung, you've got to see her. Don't let the CD venue fool you, she has grace and poise unlike anyone I've ever seen. I see. Hello? It's been a while since I've gotten to do any real fighting. I'm so used to fighting actors that I've forgotten how good it feels to slam my hammer into a monster's face. It reminds me of the good old days, but I do miss all my fans back home. It's tough being a star. Weird. Wow. Yeah, these, these seem like... I can't tell which ones are actually characters in the game and which ones are uh, Kickstarter backer characters, because I do know those are in this game. Either my senses are deceiving me, or you have several souls in that body of yours. That's not natural. Well, as much as I'd like to throw down, my master has ordered me not to get distracted on my mission. Have a good one. Maybe I'll see you around. Later, zombie boy. Okay, there's a save point. Mana de la Azarola. That's a name. Hmm, how that old bonehead song go again? Oh, hello. <laughs> You're an interesting one. Name's Mana. Something about shipping sake across the sea? If you're ever in the market for something a bit off-market, just come asking for me and McCrew, the Wavecrest Strikers. Not sure what voice I gave her, but it was a voice. Huh. There's just a lone table of that game that, uh, old man was playing, just kind of chilling up there. I also heard a ring cell, but I'm really not sure how to get to it. Maybe if I do that? No. Might be able to make it. Try and give it one more shot. Got it, I think. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Six ring cells. Don't think we can do anything with that, but I have it. Ooh. Almost fell. Okay, there's nothing more. Okay, so this is just... Yeah. Well, I suppose I should probably save. This area... It, it doesn't actually... It seems like it's a straight line. So, I don't think I've really missed anything. So. Hello. The westering sun is too bright. I see. Thank you for that. Okay, this seems like an important conversation. Why, hello, hello young miss. Spare a moment for an old man. Sure, what's up? I like helping people. She does. It's almost like an illness. I thought you said you weren't going to talk. Well, you see... It seems I've misplaced my hat. Your... your hat? Teehee, I can see that being a problem. Yes, it's my favorite one. It's a brown cap around the same color as my vest. Little brim on the front. My outfit just didn't complete without it. Kinda like the one you're wearing on your head? But I'm not wearing my hat. That's just the problem. You are. I can see it right there. Oh ho ho, what an imaginative young lady. But no jokes, please. I really am worried about my hat. It's right there. You're seeing this, right, Dar? 
Why, of course. There's no hat. But why? There's no hat at all. Is there, Dar? Uh, oh, that, that's right. I'm, I'm afraid I don't see a hat either. What? How is this? Do I have hat vision? Well, you let me know if you do find my hat. I feel lost without it. We certainly will. Uh, yes, we will inform you. Dang, that was spooky. Phantom hat. Oh, Luke Sal, you are a precious one. Yeah, she's not the brightest. <laughs> That's funny, they tricked her into thinking she had hat vision. Now that is a character design. To the left. Hello, dears. Welcome to Port Marifa. Though it's a little more dangerous than usual. Hiya. Dangerous? You mean all the soldiers? Yes, I wouldn't want them to hear me say it, but I do believe they have the port's best interest in mind. Just be careful, will you? We will. Thanks for the warning. Um, is that a location I can go into? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, she's a... She's a character? Cool. Young traveler, lend me your ear. My ear? You can't have that. I mean to ask a question. State your business, seer. Then you know of my profession. My name is Tharwa, and I am but a humble foreteller of fortunes. I would tell you your destiny. I don't have any money. I do not need your money. I merely... Good, because I don't have any. I am trying to help you, girl. Jeez, whatever. Ajna tends to bring that reaction out in people. If your intentions are true, state your purpose. Ahem. I sense the pull of a powerful destiny. I feel multiple threads pulled together into one rope. I feel myself drawn to it. You're drawn to my rope? Y yes I guess that's right. Huh. And you'll tell my fortune? Should you ever lose your way, I will be there to guide you. Oh, that sounds okay. Just don't ask me for money again. But I never... Haha. -ha. Oh, this explains the multiple thre threads I felt. Your powers as a seer are formidable. Why, thank you. What a pleasure to receive a compliment from such a handsome young man. Hey, don't you two be, be doing the dirty in my brain, all right? It, it's nothing. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Should you ever lose your way, come to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any of that going on inside my head, all right? There's enough of those thoughts normally, but with actual people in there doing it? Oi, have you seen a knight with a shovel, horned helmet, clunky armor? That guy is pretty much everywhere these days, so I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up here sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah, I already know Shovel Knight's in the game. Thank you, though, random passerby. He is indeed in everything these days. How do you ever... Cafe Nezson... Okay, you're definitely a Kickstarter backer. Howdy, everyone. I'm a tinkerer and like building things from junk, I find. Some of it might help you out, even. Ah, but you should be warned. My creations can be a bit unstable. Yeah, no, that's a Kickstarter backer for sure. Whoa, with the one-eyed, crazy-colored poodle. Welcome to the small businessman's humble shop. Can I interest you in some fantastic fireworks? Sure to be a blast. Or how about this antique statue arm? Have I got stories to tell about that? <laughs> No? Well, I'll be here if you change your mind. I love how his uh, beads, his bead necklace has a, uh, they have faces. Alright, let's, there we go. I wonder if there's going to be more ring cells in this place. Well, I definitely can't make that jump. So that is a no-go. Hi. I'm gonna go down here first, because I see these boards. Okay, there's a lot down here, actually. Let's talk to you first. My gastronomical tour begins today. Foods of the world, prepare to be eaten. Let's see. I'm gonna... Oh, wait, I can't break that? I cannot. Okay. That must be like a hammer or strength upgrade that I get that I can break those. Hi there. Do you know any places where I can get one of those designer eye patches? Asking for a friend. I see. I do not know where I can get one of those. Uh, ooh. I see you. Can I... no. Doesn't... 
doesn't seem like I can make that. Do I get, like, some sort of higher jump or something eventually? Alright, hello, Winry. What's up? Sophie. She didn't say anything. Alright. Well, I think this is probably a pretty good point to go ahead and end this episode off, because who knows when the next save point will be. So, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Oh.